how do you schedule that? Do you have where you say, we know that, you know, these three months are dedicated work months and these are always the way it is. And then the rest is travel or does that vary based on what happens to be going on that year? That would be the smart thing to do, uh, <laughs> to just have it like laid out, but no, it, it just varies. Um, partially the reason that is, is because depending on where you're traveling in the world, there are, you know, good and bad times to go. So if we could set it up perfectly the way we wanted to, it would be like kind of work through the winter um, and then travel internationally during the summer and the fall. But, you know, some places it's not a great time to go in the summer. Um, Southeast Asia, as an example, is, you know, miserably hot some parts of the year. So, yeah, we kind of just plan it uh, by ear, I guess, play by ear, set it up with, and we always have family things going on, weddings, birthdays, holidays that we're trying to work around. So it seems like if you weren't working, you have the, you know, the whole year to play with, but in reality, you still have some constraints in there. Conferences, we go to conferences every year, so we're working around that. So we kind of, kind of, plan everything around those things. Yeah. And so far it's only been, uh, 28, half of 2018, 2019, 2020, that we've had this wonderful problem of how are we going to structure our lives? So I think a, a big part of our goal with semi-retiring, if you will, was to be able to travel internationally. Um, but what we always tell people is your goal might be different. Maybe your goal in pursuing financial independence or being able to transition to this part-time work is to spend more time at home or, or whatever. And you might have certain constraints that um, make you want to design your life a certain way. For us, that was, let's be able to take off part of the year to see as much of the world as we as we can. So the first year we ever did it, uh, we had only ever traveled, you know, maybe just to like the Bahamas or, or like somewhere nearby. Um, so in 2018, when we, we worked, we were just doing our normal thing at the beginning of 2018, one contract, the next contract. And then we just got this idea of what if we just took this big trip? So we, we weren't necessarily planning it that year at the beginning of the year, but we just got to maybe March or so. And we're like, what if after this contract ends, we just take off a little bit of time and take this big trip. So we started planning this trip and it, it went from, well, what if we spent two months abroad to, oh, three months. And then we just kept adding countries. So then suddenly it was five months. And then suddenly when we got back from that trip in December, it was the holidays and stuff like that. So next thing you know, we ended up taking seven months off and we didn't even plan it necessarily, but we spent five of that um, traveling through Europe and Southeast Asia. Then we were home for Christmas and then we couldn't really find contracts right away in January when we thought. So then we took our next contract in February. And then Jared was like, well, that was fun. So let's start planning the next one. So next let's go to Europe. And he was like, well, we probably should go to Europe in like the summer. So it's not cold. So the next thing you know, you start a contract in February, March, April, May. And you're like, oh, well then I guess as soon as this contract's over, that's when we need to pick up that trip. Cause that's the good time of year to go. Um, and then after that, like he said, it was kind of like, well, now we have a conference and now we have this, okay, then let's take another job. So then another job comes along and then you start getting the itch to travel again. And you say, okay, well, let's start playing the next one. So then the next big thing we wanted to do was Latin America. So that's what we were supposed to be right now. We were supposed to be traveling all through central, um, and South America in this 2020 summer and then COVID hit and we weren't able to. So 2020 has looked a lot different for us as I know it has everyone. Um, so we would have been traveling right now, but instead we ended up spending more time at home um, and just kind of pursuing some other endeavors um, instead of working. Yeah. And you can, you can definitely set that up different ways. The reason we have chosen to take these really long trips is partially being frugal, we realized that the biggest cost to go anywhere is the, the flight there and back. So the more time you can spread that cost over on a daily average, the less you spend daily. So um, I've, I've tracked all of my expenses on every trip we've ever been on, um, and I post those on the website. So uh, I can't remember exactly how much I spent, but it was less than $1,500 a month um, to travel through Asia and Europe for five months. So most people spend more than that in their daily life. But if you are able to average those big costs over time and travel to lower cost of living areas, you can travel for very cheap. So that's definitely a big reason why we've taken such long trips. 